Right. Oh, my dear Deans. Have you seriously just fell down a massive big hole? Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. So this is a bit of an unusual video in the sort of series that I normally do. So I've been playing Astroneer and I have done various things. So I thought what I'd do is I'd do like a little update of how I'm actually getting in the, in the game. So I've put a fair few more hours in since I last played it. So we're going to load in now. We're on a different planet. Yes, we managed to escape the planet. I am actually... Where actually am I at the moment? Let me have a look. I'm on the place that has lots of... Now, I collected this material. Uh, wolf... Wolf... Wolframite. Now, can we look on the map and see actually where I am? Let's see if we can actually look at the map. Because it's a solar system we need to know. Um, will it tell me? Planets. So, we're on, des we're on this one. Desolo. So I came here to find Wolframite. I also need to find something called Spalarite. And I've done a little bit of building. So basically when I came here, I brought a little rocket, our oxygenator. I, didn't, I nearly didn't bring that, but you do need to bring one of those because otherwise you can't uh, generate electricity. No, you can't generate, um, what's the word for it? Oxygen. I actually had quite a bit of fun exploring this, uh, this area. So... I'll show you what I've found underground. I'm just going to dump this on the floor for now because we don't really need to take that with me. Oh, it's zinc. I've had that before. We found... Um, I'm, sure I've found I'm sure I've made zinc back on the main, the main area. So it's not... Zinc isn't really something I'm like, oh, wow, I've just made zinc. I think we've made it before. But anyway, so I thought I would explore underground. So we built underground sort of finally figured out how to build down tunnels like this. So this is the tunnel I have built. Okay, so we came down here. And then I built over here. And I went, I've, I've gone a bit a bit mad building down here because <laughs> I've, built, I've built far too many things. I've built a soil centrifuge, which is really handy for topping all your stuff up. So I've been using this at the moment for topping up my power. So I've got a little power generator over here so I can do this. And then I've got a smelter so I can smelt any resources I find down here and turn it into useful stuff. So we've got some tungsten there. I believe we needed to bring some of that back with me. I can also um, make charcoal and stuff as well with it, I think. Um, is it we put soil on that? Oh, I think we put... No, if we put clay on that, we make ceramic. If we put organic on it, we make charcoal. That's Yeah, that's what we need to do. So, And then th this, this, this thing's cool. This is... I can make various things. I can make compound, resin, organic, clay, quartz, graphite, ammonia... And you just fill up this top bit with soil. Like that. I think it takes a couple to fill it up. They weren't completely full. And then you can go, right. Yeah, I need some more organics. And then that will nicely fill up all of this. So the, the power down here is pretty pants. So I've, I, need, I do need more power. I've got like a wind generator down here somewhere. Oh, I've got a wind generator on me. I sometimes put that on the machinery and try and uh, improve it a little bit. So, been for a little explore down here. It wasn't anything particularly exciting, but I've not explored it fully yet. So, I mean, look at that there. There's more of that wolf wolfram right there. Oh, quartz. So, there's a load of quartz over there. Okay, so, yeah, we found this little room over here. Well, not a little room. It's like a little hollowed-out area. So... I found, um, ooh, is that, oh, there's a packager there. That helps me package items. I don't really, I could take that with me. I might find that useful later on. Uh, there is a bit more of that Wolframerite on here. There's some things to research. There's lots of things that go boom, boom, boom. I don't think there's anything else there on that bit. I don't think there's anything else exciting in here. I mean, there's all this, though. There's loads to explore down here. I could be down here all day. Ah, oh, free research. Okay, my oxygen is getting a little bit low. Ooh, okay. 
Now, these are good. These have exo chips in them. I've still not figured out what to do with them yet, but you can blow that up with dynamite and collect them. Oh, there's loads of them. All right, let's, let's hopefully, let's see if I can remember the way. So it's through here. Through here. Okay. That was an unexpected uh, detour. But I think really what I should do before I head back is just get loads of that wolf, wolf stuff. Okay, anyway, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to just refine that. Refine that. If I can get as much of this as I can and take it with me. I want to build this because we need tungsten, I need glass, I need ceramic. Now, let me see, it's resources. So you can look on here and just see what you like, what you need. So look, glass, I know I need quartz for that. And I'm pretty sure I can make quartz with this. So if we look at this. So I can make quartz, so that's, that's easy. I've only got two uses left in this. As you, ho you hover over it, you see, look. Launches two. Right, so anyway, I am going to launch into another planet. We'll press V. And off we go. Now, hopefully, I'll remember where that spot is. Right, so I want to go back to my home world now. Um, so you can just like spin around and see the world. So I think I was boring. I only went to this one planet, this, this one. It's next to the main one here. Um, and we've got a few of ones to go to. They have different difficulty as well on them. So I've only gone as far as this one because I'm a, a bit of a coward. So we're going to go back here. This should hopefully be my where my main home world is now. Okay, so I need to find my main home landing base now. If it's if it looks like that. It means it's just a random spot, but if it's like this, I pu I've put an actual landing pad down here so you can see where it is here. So if I click on landing pad, here we go. So here we go. Welcome to my crib. Now that's got no, no launches left, so I think I need to refuel it by taking off that and then building another, another solid thruster for it. Anyway, this is my crib. Now, we've come back here now so we can make something new. A chem lab. So we need ceramics and glass. Right, let's see if I've got any quartz hanging around the base. I've got some dynamite. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any. I've got some research nodules to uh, carry on researching. Because look at my research points now. Nine and a half thousand. Yeah, baby. Clay makes ceramics. So if I stick that clay on there... I can make ceramic, which I've got already. Nice. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this new thing now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that on there. And that on there. And I'm gonna activate this and make some quartz. So we obviously need to collect some soil. So this is just such an easy way of doing stuff. So you basically pick up that, and that is a canister, and then I can uh Get soil. So here, here's my here's my here's my soil strip mine. This is where I've been grabbing the uh, the soil. Just come down here, and you can see the bar on the actual the blue bar there matches the fullness of the thing on my backpack. So once that goes full, there you go. I can then come back up here to the surface. Stick this in there. So what, one thing I did discover, which I've not really read anywhere, uh, you can just input stuff straight away by clicking on it like that. There you go. Right, now I need quartz. So we're going to click that. Get that going. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit on the base. So as you can see, I have my landing pad there. I've got my smelter over here. I think we are out of power, so I'm just going to feed this into one of my little power generators here. I've got a really cool generator, but I'll, that is at my other base. I've got a wind turbine there. It's not actually windy at the moment. 
I blew up one of those crates and I found loads of these exo chips. I don't know what I do with them, so I just thrown them all on the floor. I built a couple of little buggies. I built a tractor, which I've been using for collecting resources, and I got a load of power on it because we eventually figured out how to. Oh, here's me. Here's me power thing. Look. Why have you fell over? Right, this that generates power all the time. It doesn't use fuel, it's amazing. QTRG. Right, so hopefully my quartz is uh, ready. Yes, right, so if I stick quartz on here, I'll make glass. Nice. Okay, I'm going to need a bit of resin as well, so I'm going to stick this on here. Activate this, get it printing. I, th I assume that's going to go on a large platform. So I'm going to need um, a medium platform. Well, a large platform for this. I think that's three resin. So let's quickly try and build this. I think the I think we can build this on a I think a small printer. Oh no, it's. It's medium print. Oh, it's this one we want. No, no. How big is that one? No, we want a large platform. I think I think a large is on this one. This should be done in a second, though. Okay, so you can see I've got a spur rocket here. Printed this out before. So we are good to go. If I just stick this on. Come on, stick it on. There you go. That's good to go. Right. Okay, so here's my new fabulous creation. Now, I need a large platform to stick this on. Now, I've got I've got type A and B. Now, A doesn't have anything on the side. I like B because that gives you, like, output nodes, which is really handy to have. Right, while that's printing, let me go and show you my second little crib where I've put a, one of these on the floor, changed the colour so I know where it is. So if we... Now we'll, ju we'll jump in the buggy because buggy it's faster. Okay, here we go. So my little base is over here. I should have the beacon turned on. I think I might have turned it off. Unless it's bugged. It should be over here. Why are you not... Why are you not... Like... Okay, I flipped it. Why, why are you flipping? There you go. Yeah, that should be turned... Oh, it's, it is working. Didn't look like it was working a second ago. Showing on the radar. Anyway, this is the first place I actually was brave enough to dig underground and explore a little bit. So we found loads of compound under here. I was super excited, so I built this terrible base. So I've got a couple of things down here. I've got some research positions over here. And this is semi-autonomous. Now, semi, it runs at low power constantly because we have one of these down here. But we also have this down here, which is a medium generator. Now, that is powered by charcoal. So, in order to get charcoal, I need to get organics, stick them in the furnace, and then I get something called carbon. And then you can either stick it on the end or you can stick it on a spare slot. That'll draw it in. And then we get all the power. And you can just like totally stack that up with organics. Now I have got, I've, I've built, I've got the tech for doing automated arms. We've not quite done it yet though. Um, reason we built down here is because we have got a source of a, uh, Aluminum over there. And what else was down here? I think we had a little explore down here. Yeah, we've got that we've not cracked open. Oh, no, we did crack that open. That is debris. I think we've only really explored partially down here. Okay, there's a thing shooting me. Abort, abort, abort. Okay, so I built my new platform. I already had a spur. Oh, no, this, that's, that's the spur one. This is the new one, this one. So I'm just going to stick that near, not near the printer, that'd be silly. Uh, where's this going to be handy? This is going to be producing materials and stuff, so I think I might stick it over near this area. Okay, let's rotate it a little bit. 
Yoink. Unpack it. Get this chem lab. Stick that on there. Lock that to the floor. Unpack it. Okay, then we, we connect it up. Ooh, what can we make with this then? Okay, apparently I can make rubber. Organic and resin makes rubber. Carbon and compound makes plastic. Tungsten... Oh, I've got all sorts I can make. <gasps> yes. Oh, I can make explosive powder. It means I can make dynamite. I've, I've been looking for dynamite for ages, and I finally found one stick. Oh, I can make steel. Oh, I need to make iron still, though. I think we need to get that from a planet. Plastic's exciting, though. So carbon and compounds. I want to see... I want to see what that's all about. Um, let's take the glass off. Stick the glass over there. Luckily, I have some carbon, some compound here. Let's see how this works then. So, I'm assuming I stick the resources in the top. Have I not got any carbon? I have. Okay. Okay, let's initiate it. So, plastic. Ooh! Hee hee hee! Look at it go! Oh, nice! It's sucking them both in. And we're making some, uh, we're making some plastic. Oh, nice! I have a piece of plastic. Let's populate, let's, uh, not populate. Let's cover the world in it. It's the future. There was a pink thing on the map, and I found my way to it. And then I was like, yeah, I've, I've discovered all this, and uh, yeah, I understand it. The thing I thought I'd found was completely not the right thing. So I'm going to show you. Now, that's my next stage where I need to go and explore. I've not done it yet. We're going towards this one. And I'm taking a shortcut, because we don't need roads where I'm going. Okay, so if you look in the distance, that is the thing we found. Which totally... I found it by stumbling underneath the ground... And it's not, it's not what I thought it was. It's like a massive big floating uh, gateway or structure or something. It's absolutely massive. So look at it. So I got to this and I was thinking, how on earth do I power this? So <laughs> I don't know if I did it the right way, but this is how I got to it. I'm going to show you now. Right, so you might be able to see a little bit of how I've got up here. Right. Oh my giddy ant. Have you seriously just fell down a massive big hole? Yep, I just fell down a massive big hole. Here we go, Geronimo! <laughs> okay, um... Okay, I think that basically sums up <laughs> sums up how hard this game can be. I'm actually going to leave this in because what, what an amazing ending to uh, an episode where I've got myself trapped in a hole. That is the beauty of uh, Astronia. Yeah, I, I'm stuck in a, in a chasm. So anyway, the thing I was going to show you, that is like a big portly thing and I powered it on and it's told me where to go next. So that is where I'm going to go next and explore. I think I need to go to the surface, not the surface. I need to go to the center of the earth. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Welcome to my cribs. And this is me, Shirley Rocks, stuck in a tunnel for Channel X, signing off. <laughs>